How's it going there fellow junkies? It's Root Junkie here. Today I'm going to show you guys the simplest, the easiest way to root your Nexus 9. Let's do it. To root your Nexus 9, you guys are going to have to do a couple things. It's pretty simple. Basically, come in here and go into settings. And scroll down to about tablet find your build number here you can see we're on Android 5.0 lollipop and just tap on it about 10 times until you said no need you are already a developer go back one screen click on developer options and turn on USB debugging right there you can save it checked and oh enable OEM unlock now I'm not going to show you the OEM unlock process but not a big deal, it's, it is included in the tool that I'm going to show you how to use to root your Nexus 9. So make sure those things are all checked, everything's good to go there. Take your USB cable and go ahead and plug it into your device and into your computer. So once you've got that, you should see up here USB debugging is connected. And if you've never connected it before, you're going to have some kind of a pop-up asking you to give it uh, USB debugging permission. So when you see that, make sure you enable it. From there, let's go over to my computer and let me show you what we're gonna have to do to root this device. All right guys, this is uh, pretty simple. Basically, um, come over here to my server site, rootjunkiesdl.com, click on Nexus 9, click on root, and then download this right here, Nexus 9 root zip, all right? I've already downloaded mine and extracted it so here is the zip and here is uh, the extracted folder and basically you're left with this pretty simple right so you've got your device hooked up from here it's very easy everything is included here this is big thanks to uh, Chainfire he is the developer that got root working on the Nexus 9 so props to him all I did is throw it in a batch file so it makes it really easy for you guys to get root access with just one click so we're going to go ahead and launch the batch file. Um, it does tell you some things right here. If ADB is functioning, it tests it right there. If you get a number and devices, you're working in ADB. That means your drivers are functioning, everything is good. So it tests that right as the tool starts up. And then you have two options here. I did add unlock bootloader. If you haven't done that, you have to do it to get root access. And you can click option one and it will walk you through the steps on how to do that. So if you want to do that, it is there for option one. I'm going to focus on option two because I already did a video specifically on unlocking the bootloader and I'll link you to that in the video description down below. So we're going to go option two, hit enter, and it basically just warns you again about what I already showed you about turning on the USB debugging, all that kind of stuff. Again, props to Chainfire. So press any button to continue. And that's really it. Basically from here, we're just going to watch the script run. Uh, actually, it looks like I turned off my device. Really, it's actually doing it through the script. And it boots into bootloader mode. Again, here it does say device status unlocked. So that is uh, good to go right there. And from here, it should be very simple. You just let the device finish up. Again, I'm not touching anything. It is just part of the root process. So when it is done here, there is like a 30 second pause and what it's doing is just making sure the device finished the whole process and then it's going to flash an image and once it finishes that the device will reboot and you'll have root access so there you go your script is done you can go ahead and close out the computer hit enter and enter and it'll reboot it or just close it and turn this off we'll go ahead and let our device boot up this shouldn't take any longer than a normal boot time so should be very very simple to do basically what you did here in the script is you flashed or you booted a image that injects super su files you need to get root access and then you booted a patched boot image um, or you flashed a patched boot image that allows it to function alright so that's what the script did it's very very simple to use not hard at all let's just let this finish booting and I'm going to just show you guys that we have root access on the Nexus 9. Here you go. Go ahead and open it up. We'll go to scroll over. There's your SuperSue 
application that got inserted right there. I did load download root checker here and we're going to verify we have root access so verify and there you go. Congratulations your device has root access. Very very simple you can even open up the application and you can see all the other things that I've used so far with root. Um, there you go pretty simple. There you go guys that's going to be it for me today. Hope you like this video of getting root access on your Nexus 9. Check out this, the little tool I made for it. Just makes it real simple to unlock the bootloader and root. Hope you guys like it. Stay tuned for more videos on this device as development happens. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.